CMD Boxing Reports, Ronell here reporting here, and I'm back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. So Earl Spence says that he can make 160 easy. Now, I don't know if he was joking when he said that he will face uh, uh, Canelo. You know, I really don't know if he was serious or not. However, you know, uh, I would like to see what he'll look like, you know, in their heavier division, like, you know, 154 and 160. I mean, I personally didn't think he was ready, you know, to make that move to another division, like, you know, 160. But since he brought it up, you know, that he could make the way easy. Now I'm ready to see him make that move. But first, you know, he should stop at 154 and uh, challenge some of them dudes there. You know, like uh, Laura, Hurd, or uh, Charlo. Although, I understand that, you know, Spence and, and Charlo are cool with, e with each other. But, hey, uh, this is boxing. You know, uh, this is what you do uh, for a living. So, you know, you can go back uh, being cool with one another afterwards. Now, at 154, you know, I seriously doubt that the boys there, you know, would duck Earl Spence. And I also believe that Earl Spence would be in, you know, a lot of tough dog fights as well. You know, uh, especially with fights with uh, Jared Hurd, because, you know, just like Terrence Crawford, Jared Hurd will switch his stance to Southpaw. Now, Hurd had admitted that switching, you know, to a uh, Southpaw is something he doesn't like to do sometimes but it's a must and plus you know with uh that long range uh jab that her possesses you know he could keep earl spence at bay now i understand that her lacks uh, a few things like you know hand speed and good footwork well you might as well say experience but i must say you know for a man who doesn't has the experience that you know his opponents has her still finds a way to outwork and conquer his opponents you know however you know this would be a fight to see plus her has some pretty good defense as well now moving on with spence versus laura you know that would be a tricky one because they're both southpaws now i understand that laura looked you know like crap in his last fight against uh, gouche but i really don't know if it was because he didn't take Gouche seriously and he didn't train hard for Gouche or just maybe he's slowing down. But uh, then again, every boxer has, you know, an off night. So who knows? It, it could have been, you know, one of the three. Now, however, you know, with Laura or Spence. Now, because I would like to see, you know, if Earl could, you know, dictate the pace by you know cutting off the ring and uh, uh not allowing laura to escape from him and, and make laura stand you know and trade with him like he did with lamont peterson now what other opponent all right would be the best one to try that against other than laura because we all knows when laura is at his best you know he's very hard to catch i mean I understand that Laura has, you know, been, you know, that elusive in his, you know, past couple fights like he was with Canelo. But hey, you know, I truly do believe that he'll try to be elusive against uh, Spence. So uh, that'd be another, you know, interesting fight. Now with uh, Charlo, okay, you know, I admit it, you know, I, I do get, you know, the two brothers mixed up, you know, Jamel and, and Jamal, you know, I, I forget which one is at 154 because, you know, their names are so, you know, close to being the same. So I, I just say Charlo at 154. Now, both Charlo and Spence, you know, they, they, they know each other, you know, pretty well. You know, they both uh, sparred together and, and word is they also worked out together. So, however, no one never had put out you know who got the best of who during sparring so i guess you know what goes on in the gym stays in the gym so you know seeing this fight here will be very intriguing as well uh, however you know let's get real here now we all knows that you know the boss of golden boy uh which is oscar de la hoya has been you know interested in promoting both earl spence and anthony joshua Although Joshua is with Eddie Hearn and uh, Oscar, you know, he was still talking about, you know, signing him and bringing him over here, you know, to the States. Uh, however, you know, with Earl Spence uh, talking about facing Canelo, 
uh, Alvarez. Now, Golden Boy just might get in touch with Spence and, you know, try to work out some type of a uh, promotional contract deal where Spence will, you know, probably sign a to a, uh, a like three fight deal with Alvarez, you know, being uh, one of the three. He'll probably be the last opponent of the contract deal. However, you know, Earl Spence had already uh, stated that, you know, he doesn't want to work with the Golden Boy. But if he wants, you know, that big fight with Canelo, well, you have to sell his soul. So we'll see, you know, if he's, you know, that desperate enough to do so. And we'll see what the future brings. CMD Box reports, Rona Higg reporting here, and I'll catch you on the next one.